were gonna make a shoe that is basically like the certification, the AFA certification shoe board. It's gonna have a bunch of different alterations on it that don't really mean anything, but we're just gonna put them on the same shoe because we had a bunch of requests this week and we're gonna do all the requests. We're gonna do a cap-toed shoe. We're gonna do a, a trailer, not a trailer, I'm sorry. We're gonna do a cap-toed shoe and we're gonna do a heel extension and then we're gonna do an outside trailer with a heel caulking on it. And people wanted to see how that was made, so we're gonna do it out of a quarter, by inch and a quarter piece so I don't have to work too hard. I'm gonna set it down an inch and a quarter from one side, draw it out, set it down from an inch and a quarter from the other side of center and draw it out, make my cap toed, and then I'll put my, my heel extension and my my heel cock with the trailer on there. All right, I'm gonna just set it down. Make sure I got it pretty flat. Don't let it wrinkle on you. When quarter inch wrinkles on you, it's pretty hard to bring it back. I'll do the other side. Now we're just taking down the, the lateral side. It's a little bit longer because it's going to accommodate for the heel cock. Now we have the section in the center that's for our cap toe. All right, we're gonna cut, and I'm gonna try and cut where my, my line is, go straight from one side to the other. And then cut again. Just kind of score it so where we can have a ledge to go by. I've weakened the material there, and now all I'm gonna do is feel for the, the crease, and I'm gonna go into the corner. You can see, now you can visualize, I still got my section, which I'm, my shoe's on, and I'm gonna just take a little bit warmer heat, and I'll show you what I'm gonna do to make it look like a nice square. All right, we've got it scored pretty good. Now I'm gonna stick it up here. And I'm kind of pulling it like a clip, just getting some height. I don't wanna make it too weak. And then here, just so it doesn't start bellying out, just take you a couple smacks to clean up the edge. Clean up the edge. So it stays straight. And just a little bit more on the top.
And as you can see, it kind of bells out at the top. So what I do is with a little bit of heat, I come here and I hit it on the edges and that keeps me from belling out too much. I can even lean it if I'm afraid of it getting away from me. As you can see, that makes nice crisp corners, forge to those corners, and just kind of making everything just, just right. We'll be done with this part and we'll fold it up. All right, so it's important. We're not gonna go away because that'll leave an ugly jagged edge. It's important to note that we're gonna fold it towards that seam so that it looks nice and clean and we can create a nice sharp outer edge. All right, I'm just going to use the heel of my hammer and pull towards that, that corner. And you can, you can still do this move. And you do this nut move here. And what I want to do is I'm raking my hammer like this so I can create a nice crisp corner. Then you come back in here and rake away. And voila, you have a nice sharp corner. All right, just got to do a little bit at a time. I'm just going to come in here and just try and stay as true as I can, as straight blows. your uh, toe cap off the face of the anvil. And hopefully it looks like a toe bend without anything on there. Once you get it made, you can only get in there so tight with your hammer so what what you can get is, I, this is just a piece of steel with a hardy on it, and then I just kind of work that edge. I got this from Mark Milster when we were on the team, and Mark probably thinks it's a piece of lost luggage because he's not seen it since, but Mark, I love you, and this has been a great piece of equipment. And then you can come right in here and flatten up again. You can also reestablish a nice line right here because you can use the strength of your cap to put a nice crisp corner on there. All right, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna make a bend. Well, anytime you make a bend, you weaken the corner. So. I'm just going to make a bend and then hockey stick it back. That hockey sticking it back makes the corner nicer. I'm letting it fall away from me, but at the same time, I'm filling up the corner. Then I'm just going to put my heel on it.
Every time you trailer something or kick it out, you run the risk of not hitting the buttress. The way you miss the buttress or the tip of the heel is you curb too early. The sharper the bend, the more chance we will have to hit the buttress. Just making the heel. And you say you could do that, you could do that before I donkeyed it, and you can, but I'm actually making that corner right now. It's nice and crisp by doing all these little moves. You can incorporate it all in there. So now we're gonna come up here and I'm just gonna use the trailer or the extended heel to go all the way around. Then push it down. And then I'll go out to the heel quarter and then go over the top and go to the heel. And flatten the whole thing up. All right, we're gonna use the horn and we're gonna just clean up the branch and sweeten up the extended heel and go onto the trailer. We're just gonna kinda go. We're staying behind the highest part of the horn and then we go over the top and come on through. Crisping up this, you can crisp it up that way or that way. So I'm a little donkeyed out, so I'm gonna push on the heel. I can either push on the heel and hit the back, that'll bring it in, or I can push on the back of the, and hit close to the check. That's the extended heel. We finished it up. We want to have that basically in line with travel. We would ideally like to have the tip of the heel be right there and in line with travel. All right, we're going to put a heel cock on a trailer. So I found the easiest way to do quarter by three quarter is hockey stick it. back really trying to squat it down I want to add material to that so now I'm gonna come out on the horn and I'm gonna hit tip top right in the center and make come to the check. So I'm just gonna squish. Get the front lined up and we'll take one more heat. I'm creating this corner and I'm creating a belly. All right, I'm hockey sticking. Making that front face really nice. Coming back here. And creating that check with the round side of my hammer. What I want to do is I'm trying to imagine the exact sat halfway point in between this point and this point, and that's going to be the back of my heel cock. All right, 
I got the score. I got plenty of material to forge out, nice and clean. All my seams are pushed together. Now I just put some iron mountain on it. And we'll just weld it a couple times and we're done. All right, push all the sides together. And don't be afraid to hit the front. And you just constantly want to just keep rotating it. I'm hitting this with the round so I don't score the inside of the edge. It's welded good, it's all solid. And I'll weld it one more time. Using the edge of my hammer, I'm kind of fullering it out, making my heel cock just a little bit longer. Cumbersome with that cap toe on there. All right, you can see I've maintained my check, my corner, and I've got me a nice block on there. I can do just about anything I want with. So one more heat of forging it up and I think we'll be ready to roll. And then the new patented ledge, bring that bad boy right in there and you can always get to the front of the heel car. Always nice and clean and tidy in there. Bring it in here, and you can always flatten up right there to that corner. We are golden. I'll just rasp it up a little bit, make it look like a heel cock, and we will shape it. All right, we're all ready to turn the branch. We pretty much got it. You can see that we've got a check, it's trailered out, and we have our heel cock. I'll bend it in line and we'll be done with it. All right, I'm gonna sort my toe out a little bit right here. Bring it around. Give it a little pat-pat right up against the side of the horn to where it follows in line with travel. edges to contend with. All right, we finished it up. We didn't put nails or in it or punch it or pull it because it's going to be a long enough video as it is, but Ideally, you'd like to have the extended heel go in line with tra travel. You'd like to have a donkey come out as much as it goes in. So if you've got a trailer with a heel cock, you want that kicking out at the same angle as this kicks in. So if you held it like this, 
it would be a nice triangle. And then with a, with a cap toe, you'd like to see the shoe from this size and see a nice shoe and not notice that it was a cap toe with a nice sharp corner until you turned it like this. So it's uh, got a nice rim. Usually judges will be, or if you're making it out of some, you, they'll put that toenail just inside the cap toe so you got a little added difficulty. Please visit our YouTube page, our Facebook page. Like these things, because this shit doesn't grow on trees. We love you guys. Have a good one.